cannibals. Oh, now they're called. What are they called? Children lover. They try to change the name or something. That's crazy. That shit getting out of hand. We we already been told them. First they gonna make you accept the faggots, then they gonna make you accept pedophiles. Accept the shit. It's like we ain't accepting it now. They don't like little girls, they like little boys. Yeah, that's where the energy comes from, the boys. It's bad enough that the motherfucker of the child is under age before the consent, age, consensual age of sex, which is when you're going to keep it for a male, 12 for a male, and uh, flower of age period for a female. Yeah. But they go even further. They go in the opposite, the same sex. I think I have a phone. I'm going to look up this word. Let me read the... Uh, just give me some Google real quick or whatever. What does scripture say? It says, none seeth me. That's what they think. None seeth me. And they seek society. That's what they think. But the scripture says, the Lord's his eyes is brighter, 10,000 times brighter than that of the sun. So what all you wicked ass individuals is doing, each and every one of you individuals is doing, the angels of the Lord got eyes on you. No matter how many doors and how many buildings and how many stores up, the most high got eyes on you. On all the wickedness that you're doing, all the filthy wickedness that you're doing. You know, all the blasphemy of the name of the Lord, the men of the Lord, you know, the truth of the scriptures, and on top of that, all the pedophilia that you love to be into, all the homosexuality that you love to be into. The most high sin, all. You know, what you think the day of judgment is all about? <laughs> you know, that's gonna be just funny though. Having to come and having to come and in the, in, the, in the midst of the, the men of the Lord and get judged, man, you know? And when, when thousands and possibly millions of people is going to be say, letting set eyes on you, you get, a, get that embarrassment. You know what I'm saying? That, that scripture mentions shame, man. The scriptures mention shame, you know? And these motherfuckers going to feel shame, man, when, they, when all their sins is brought forth and put right in front of them. Matthew 16, uh, 64. All right, let me start at 63. It says, Surely he knoweth your inventions and what you think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide your sin. Right, and invention is one of their past laws that make pedophilia and, and being a tranny, homosexuality, a uh, man getting married is legal. That's another invention, man. He said, Therefore have the Lord exactly search out all your works, and he will put you all to shame. But when your sins are brought forth, <laughs> you shall be ashamed before men. Man, these scriptures are beautiful, man. They're beautiful, man. These scriptures is an open indictment for the wicked. I like these motherfuckers and niggas that fall out, man. They're worthy of getting cursed out more. Because this is too beautiful to be a cast away, man. We're the actual lawgiver. We're the actual lawman of the world, man. You want to take a look at the whole Western movies and see the law and going around everybody looking at him like he's the baddest motherfucker around. He's the most loving motherfucker around, man. Look at us, man. <laughs> this shit. But they, this is the total opposite with us, man. The righteousness of the law. Pitiful. Pitiful. We the right hand. We are actually the right hand side. The right hand of the most high. Right hand. That's right. Right hand represents the righteousness. Right. Right. Righteous. Righteous. Says, and your sins shall be your accusers in that day. What will you do? Or how will, how will you hide your sin before God and his angels? No, God himself is judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities. To middle no more with them forever. So shall God lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. Right, that's what we're doing now. And what the scripture mentions about us, washing our hands, washing the blood off our hands, washing the blood off of our hands, man. Like, again, man, we, we have find no pleasure in motherfucking continuing on being a piece of shit. You know? I don't like seeing motherfucking people all the time walking with you. What? For what? Just so you can feel happy or be going off, he's wrong. You know what I mean? We find no pleasure in that way. Ain't no pleasure. Ain't no pleasure in that way. Feel good when the brother brings it to you. Yeah, you cuss them out because you're trying to get them goddamn beans off of them. Yeah, you
Jacob and Ezra's born to follow. Go thy way and show my people their sin to me and their children their wickedness, which they have done against me. You know? And then I don't remember saying it anymore. I don't remember saying it anymore. There's a door. Don't judge. Right. What's the monkey's word that matters? Eyes and ears. Hear no evil. Hear no evil. Hear no evil. Hear no evil. Yeah, that's that bullshit, bro. That's why it's all fucked up right here. Yeah, that's the code. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a little code, too. You know, don't nark. You know, don't, don't nark. Sit. Right, don't snitch. Right, we snitch to the most high. Don't drop a dime. Yeah, we damn right, man. We, 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 we dropping a dime. Yeah, we ain't calling the cops, right. bro. Stool, stool pigeons. That's, they give you, they give them uh, uh, being righteous or being right. They give you by words. They give you, you know. Yeah. That's part of the curses. It's part of the curses. That's a byword. Hey, because according to the scriptures, you are supposed to, uh, well, not go to the cops. Because there's actually a scripture that says don't go to the, uh, Law the to unjust. Right, exactly. But, I mean, but really, if, if it was our king, if we was in rulership and that was our kingdom, you supposed you, you supposed not snitch. You supposed to tell everybody because we don't like that word. But if you, you find somebody out there just that trying to get other people to follow other gods, we supposed to go tell on them, get everybody together, and stone them to death. It's the guy. It says go and get a witness. Yeah. Go and get a witness, and, it, and what it say? If it be found true. Yeah, if it be found true. Let well, me go. I, yeah, seventeen. With Deuteronomy. Yeah. Uh, Sirach uh, 2, it's like a 1 and 30. It says, Exalt not thyself, lest thy fall, and bring dishonor upon thyself. And so God discover thy secrets, and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation. Yeah, you go going to discover your secrets. The Most High will discover your secrets. And he'll cast you down in the middle of everybody. Discover. Bring it out in the open. Like, <laughs> like all you assholes on YouTube, like vocab alone. The Lord, he got something special planned for you, bro. Why we fuck up and mention Volcano? Oh, my fault. Just, nah, we did the memory. Like oh, two, yeah. three weeks ago, we mentioned I man. think we summoned his ass back <laughs> up. <laughs> right. We did one of the miracles like the Lord did with last week. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> we resurrected him. Yeah, yeah Volcano wasn't nowhere to be found. He took a... <laughs> he dropped off the radar for he a minute. He did, too. He really did, man. He really did. Then just sprang back up out of nowhere. Yeah. We was talking about him one week. Like, what happened to old Volcano? <laughs> He came right back. That's the spirit of the Lord working. That's exactly. It's the most high preserving that motherfucker from death. Literally, it's preserving from death. He's totally off his rocker. He's like a little kid, though. Okay, let me finish this. I still have to um, Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds and their children. They just, the entry like one was just loud. Crazy. She was at that mill acting a fool last week. Straight up out of court. I will kick her out. Don't let me be in charge of nothing. I'm kicking everybody out. Get out! There's a lot of food left over. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I throw that shit in the trash. Right. And show my people their sinful deeds and their children their wickedness, which they have done against me, that they may tell their children's children. Because the sin of their fathers are increased in them. For they have forgotten me and have offered unto strange gods. I uh, see that's the sin of their fathers. Like we tell people, oh, you're not supposed to celebrate Christmas and eat pork. They be like, well, that's what I was taught. That's how I was raised. They're like my 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 own family do that shit to me. That's not how you was raised. We ain't raised you like that. Like no shit you didn't raise me like that. Yep. That's the sins of your fathers right there. You raised on lies and um, and I got one coming to pick you up tonight. That's just the spirit, man. Round of holidays is fun. Even as a child, I never knew why, though, but I was miserable as fuck. For real. I was miserable as hell, man. I never could understand why. I may have had a gift under that tree, but when I got like, like 11, 12, 13, that, that period right there, man, I was literally, man, without exaggeration, I was miserable. Well, I always got blamed for ruining Christmas. But how you ruined Christmas again, you son of a bitch. I always got. 
Uh, he, that's, actually, that's what my dad used to call us when he's acting bad. <laughs> like, you goddamn heathen. That's what I call my, my grandson, man. He'd be like, no, no, I'm not no heathen. <laughs> he don't stop the call heathen. That's some funny shit, though. Uh, heathen. Only it is like we call people heathen. Heathen? Right. Now the new one is Heath so though. Yeah. He don't, he don't. I be calling niggas heathen mice all the time. Man. They got this spirit of I do. Though. I call them heathen mice and hand all the time. Same That's what they want to be. Yep. Well, what's that? What's that? What's that? Yeah. Well, I tell them what it is. They don't know. Okay. Those in one ear, they don't have it. They lack of understanding. Just tell them the truth. They still don't get it. Well, you know it's an insult. That's the song. <laughs> yep, yep. That was the song, yep. Oh, we've been calling your boy last week that Moore. We just called him a Papia. And a uh, uh, Casio. And well, a fool, simple one. I call him a hard parash. That means a mountain of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. They don't get it, man. They don't get it. It's tell them. Tell them it's all good. Hey, dude, Hebrew cuss words got some power in them, though, you know? Because a poppy? You don't want to be called no poppy. A simple fool, a jackass. All y'all poppies out here. Oh, there's your boy. Hi. He's like, hi, guys. He's over there now. He's just going this way now. He's mentally challenged, though. There's something wrong with him. They ain't retarded, though. They might be a little Yeah. But he had to get that smile. He's like, damn it, they seen me. He's gone. He is gone. He's like, I'm out of there. I don't think he looks back. Because when he stopped, he stuck. <laughs> Most I can judge everybody. You don't give a fuck if you young and old and retarded. You know, For real. You don't care. You really don't. Re retarded motherfuckers is wicked as hell too. Yeah, they gotta understand what's going on. Yeah, they can understand shit. No better. No love to Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Fucking That's wrong. That's yeah, wrong. dogs know when they do bad stuff. Like you come home and you see that sad that that look on your dog's face. He like. I hope uh, I done fucked up and done chewed your shit up. He can't, he can't hide his guilt. Yeah, you know, he got that guilty time. look on it. And that's, oh, that's the spirit too. And it's the same thing with these wicked when judgment time come, man. They ain't gonna be able to hide that guilt, man. That shame, shame is a motherfucker, man. I remember one time I got caught with a bitch. My bitch caught me. Man, I was, she was talking shit too. And I, in my mind, without knowing the truth, I thought, you know, no, she right. Damn, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, damn. Yeah, she right. We look at motherfucking the video right here, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I couldn't say shit like, oh, now I would be like, and you want to make another one or what? You know? Can't hide it. <laughs> Don't hide this shit, man. Dog, you do something bad, <laughs> you get mad and shit. You see a dog like bounce down and shit, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you know it's fucked up. It's like you about to get cracked or something. Yeah, <laughs> that rod, that uh, that uh, that staff, that yeah. rod of iron. That's the spirit, man. Israelites, man, we got a hell of a spirit, man. We got a hell of a spirit. Esau, like, I'm gonna punish you. Bend around, let me, let me hit it real quick. Right, 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 right. Time out. <laughs> Time out. Esau's the one that made it so that they took all the manliness out of the world. Oh, I punish my dog when they were puppy. But when he, he's like a, he's an adult, man. After you have a dog for three or four years, isn't that like a teenage years or whatever, man? I'm like, I can't, I can't strike him like that anymore, right? Because he already knows he's going wrong. But he's a dog. What the fuck do you expect? You know, he, he's doing his job. He, other than eat your food, if you want to but he, he listens, they obey. Yeah. You know, they go outside and shit and piss. And he'll protect you if the situation comes around. So he's done his job, you know, being a beast, man. But I don't strike my dog. I don't strike my dog anymore. I might strike him with nose. I mean, he wants that girl, you ain't got to. Same with your children, same thing. It's the same thing. So, another thing they don't get punished for. Children don't pass laws. That's another invention. You pass laws that a motherfucker, the, the father can't punish his children. But then they rape your children away from you and send them off to school every day. Get abused. Get abused. 
mental and physical greatness. Man, it's coming out to cut all the passes on two times. He ain't say nothing to two us, though. Who? Your boy just walked by. He said, y'all see how ignorant they be, though? I'm trying to I think so. It's all right. I mean, well, actually, he's supposed to say that. Oh, wait, he does know. Speaking against unrighteousness, since most people like unrighteousness, they will come against the truth. I got a scripture for that. Teaching the world, man. You know, coming out, prophesying the destruction of this devil for right. Oh, I got, I got stacks up. What else you got? I got John. Wake up, more people. Bring them back to me. Bring them back to the hair. Get that seven and seven. Get that seven and seven. This is our true nationality. Being Hebrew Israelites, not being niggas, Negro, Black, African American, or whatever the fucking common name they call it. They crack me. Stinking, uh, uh, pus filled anal ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this is the truth, and this is who the Lord is coming back to save. Go around saying that Farrakhan is the greatest prophet to ever walk the earth, he's gonna destroy you. You know? We ain't Muslims, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't. <laughs> Whatever, man. You know? Our people are going off, man, but this is why we out here to bring everybody, our children, the people, the children of Israel, the lost, the scripture says, the lost sheep. Being lost means you don't know what. Hey, love. take a picture of this, you know man. Why B don't be talking about this? The real laws and commandments that Jesus man came That's what to try to give us. Is this Yahweh's law? Uh, the Howard. The Howard. Yeah. The Howard. The Hebrew Israelites. That's what they're going to follow. And the Heavenly Son got this a name. This dumbass nigga talking about. Oh, no, 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 no. This, this, well, that's These what brothers fool. right here. Psalms he is a fool. 14. I think hey, that's 14. Take I a think picture 14. of this, 14. Bro. 14. Bro. 14. Wrote the world, but that's, that's a good scripture. That's uh, the fool saved in his heart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a beautiful scripture, man. That's a beautiful scripture. Most I didn't leave nothing. That's how they used to dress, too, back in the day with the garden. Yeah. But he's right over here. He's, he's just really like almost sackcloth, too, though. Yeah. We ain't wearing the fly right stuff now. right now. You see why they're right. Exactly. I was about to make that point. Hey, yeah. brother, you just notice they're not fly and they're not looking all the, you know, the oh, women ain't like, ooh, right he right look good now. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, these are representing, like, Morning. 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 Psalms 14 and 1. This is from the boy right here. Remember this scripture right here. Give it to you. Hold up. I'm about to take a picture of it. Okay. Here you go. It says, The fool have said in his heart, There is no God. <laughs> they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that do good. No. Shit, that's only a fool who say that God don't exist. Right. He sound crazy. I can't talk to nobody like that. Right. Ain't it true that, check it out, even though you don't know the truth, you still know there's something. Yeah. You know? Hey, like still you said, uh, this is the C Max. Like uh, they, they said on the battlefield, there's no such thing as atheists on the battlefield. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. I don't know, he brought that up last week. Uh, hey, that's it right oh, there, bro. Uh, uh, that's Johnny. Johnny, yeah. sorry. His boyfriend, Full Metal Jacket. Yeah. No, he, oh, he did just like Like three weeks ago. Uh, he was a Jake. He was a movie oh, about yeah. it. Yeah, no. Your boy had a heavy, hard spirit on him. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Really good. He reminded me of somebody in my family. Oh, crazy. That's another one of the individuals I wish I could have said. Drinking beer. Well, you see them dudes, if you want to meet someone like that, just go to the, uh, with the AMVETS or the, what's that? The, uh, or the vets be going to drinking and stuff. Um, the, uh, the legions, right, right. you know. If they let you in. Uh, like are you back you, already? Like we need you guys. I want the doctor. Sure. I want the doctor. We need you guys. Israel and Israel. Later. Israel and Israel. Israel. Wow. Israel. Wow. You came Peace out all by yourself. You just came up with it. Oh, okay. Wow.
not all there. Right. Well, Ryan was on. Maybe he's on the road. I mean, who the fuck knows? Looks like he's on the road. Looks like he's gone all the way. Who? That's real original. Who? Who? Came up with that all by yourself. Holy shit. He said that too. Oh, yeah, he thought, oh, wow. Dr. James White's brother. You try to figure out how these people's brains work, James bro. It's like. <laughs> oh, shit. James White, that's a big goofy looking bastard, too, though. Oh, they just vanished, man. Were they real? <laughs> Your boy, he came up, he tried to show him the sign, and he, he was Satan, too, at the same time, and pulled him away. He tried to give him some knowledge and take it away at the same time. <laughs> Satan. Dude, your boy was trying to listen, but you're... Yeah, I think they was drunk. Damn. Just when you think you have it. That line break. <laughs> your jaws. Caught a snapping turtle. Jaws, right. Jaws. Snapping turtle. Let's get back. Let's read that scripture, though. We are about to get that. John. Remember, people were talking shit about him. Y'all are Israelites, right? Yes. What's he doing? What are you doing? But isn't he a white man? Yeah, he's very So, isn't that supposed to be our son? So, they're like... Well, Esau is supposed to be our son. So, Esau is? Yes, I do, actually. Who's Esau? That's right. Sure, who's going to be Esau? Yes! Oh wow! I'm not trying to judge skin. anything. Yeah. I'm just saying, though, like he's not trying to judge. Just, just, just by his skin. The, just the by his skin. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do it. Yes. You can't do anything. I'm not judging. I can't even judge. I'm just confused. Because you know, my brothers, you know, they wear part of it. I don't. I've never seen those guys dressed like this. But okay. Look at that Omega size side. Listen, they were there for fraternity. You know what Maram is? Yeah. You know. Okay. You know she got that shit, Bobby, right? I don't I just think this is something wrong here. All right. They're supposed to serve You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't know that Esau got leprosy. Don't get upset. No. I don't really care about what, what she thinks. She smells awful. Awesome. I'm not Israelite. Smell it, baby? Oh, God. You need to go hose her down in the backyard or something. She got no fringes. And a thing of joking, look exactly what we're talking about. I'm gonna find it. Well, she already hit her with the smell. Did you just smell it? Oh my god. <laughs> but that's all good. People are supposed to come up and talk shit. That's what we were just talking about. If people are not talking shit about us, that means we're doing something wrong. They call the Lord of Samaritan. They said he was a heathen. So, am I better than the Lord? I don't think so. No, I told him. I told him. I told him. Well, there's one in Exodus 4 and 6. That's the one where he did it to himself, right? Yeah, but that's a number of 12 and Remember, if the Most High did it to Moses first, remember? When, when he was first given Moses all that power, he showed him how to turn his staff into a snake. He showed him how to uh, prove that he could turn into a, le a leprous white as snow. I mean, you got leprosy laws in the Bible. The law was only given to Israel. So you had all kind of Israelites in the wilderness catching leprosy. I'm going to start at the top. But people, how do you get around that? Exactly. The leprosy laws were for the Israelites. Yeah. And the Lord said, go cleanse the lepers in Matthew 10. That's right. But I guess we're just supposed to kill them. I'm, we're just going to start killing them now, I guess. Right. Numbers 12 and 1. Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian 
woman who he had married, or he had married an Ethiopian woman. Yeah, because she was getting in his business talking shit. Like she was correcting him. Like she was a she's a man of a uh, man. She's a woman of the Lord. And she gonna correct a man. You know, that woman has no place correcting a man. Okay, that the man's ahead of the woman. And that applies in this world too. Right, it does. The the the, the most the most high correct a man. Yeah, how was I correct a man? Not and, no woman. And they said, had the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses, that He had not spoken also by us, and the Lord heard him. And now the man Moses was very meek. Uh, above all the men who are upon the face of the earth, which means under a reflective. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and unto Aaron and unto Miriam, Come out, ye three, unto the tabernacle, tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud. Oh, that pillar of that cloud. There go that pillar again. That's that spaceship, that you, uh, cherry. That's going to be that curse of the Lord. The chariot's been active lately too, man. It's supposed to rain today? Yeah, yeah it's supposed to rain. Where was I at? And the Lord came down in the pillar of a of the cloud and stood in the door. Yeah. And stood in the door of the tabernacle and called here and Mary. And they both came forth, and he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision, and I will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all my house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches, and in a similitude of words. So he You know what the funny thing was, though? Your girl, she tried to say I was Esau, but I didn't have leprosy. Right. But when so-called white skin is clearly leprosy, it's clearly, it's a mutation, is it not? When even the so-called scientists will say, oh, it's a mutation. It's a genetic, it's a, it's a skin disease, a skin disorder, a mutation. So it's clearly a form of leprosy. So she don't know what the hell she was talking about. I don't understand. With him when I speak not to mouth people, apparently, apparently, and not in the dark speech, and the similitude of the Lord shall he behold, wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed, and the cloud departed from all the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, and the fat literal kept her simple ass here, she was nursed. Possibly could have learned something, you know. So who was Miriam? Was Miriam a natural Edomite? No. Miriam was Moses' sister, right? Moses is a white man. Oh, it's the trade with the white man. So it means something. 